Hello brothers and sisters, wanted to tell you my rapture dream that I had last night. So, I was, as a woman, getting on a dress, and I was uh, really worried about how I was going to look for the wedding, and I looked in the mirror, and I was half white, half olive, but, you know, speckled. I, w I had vitiligo, and I was worried about how I looked, and I felt like I needed to put makeup on my face to even out how I looked, and then um, I knew that it was coming down to the line that the wedding had to happen. So I got ready, I, I got out of the bathroom, you know, prepping, whatever, and I got on a horse, and the horse was white and speckled, and so was riding very fast, and I got to the wedding, got up to the podium, and of course, there was Jesus, and then there was a whole crowd of people in tuxedos, dresses, and they were um, waiting for the wedding proceedings. And I felt this overwhelming sense of joy and love. And the I do's were about to be said. And then all of a sudden, something catastrophic happened, and everyone attending the wedding just ran off. And just me and him were standing there. And I looked at him, and then I went from being the woman into Jesus' perspective. And I went to lift up the veil, but there was three white veils, and I went to kiss the bride. And the bride, all of a sudden, underneath the veils, it was black, and she had this evil grin with white teeth, like a... Like, I'm like, whoa, wait a second. And then I woke up. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe um, the bride is worried about how she looks and that might keep her from attending the wedding. And then the overwhelming feeling of love, I believe, signifies how Jesus wants you to come as you are. Even though we are half white, half sin. I don't mean that in a racial bias. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, yin yang, black, white. Um, and he, he loves us so much that he will take us as we are. And when we're caught up, we'll be purified. And or when we die for Christ physically, if that's um, what he deems appropriate, then we'll be caught up and um, he'll take us as we are. Our fleshly sinful bodies will be left and our purified bodies will go up. And um, the, the, the grin seems to signify that there is still some, some kind of sin or some kind of demon who is trying to take advantage of the situation and it's going to be purified before Jesus kisses the bride. Anyways, that's the rapture dream. Amen. God bless and take care.